everyone. Thanks so much for watching and hanging out with us today. I hope you guys are doing okay and doing well. We have a little bit of an adventure today that we want to take you on and show. Where are we going? We are going snowmobiling. We're going snowmobiling. So it's me and Chris and Miles and my parents and my brother. And we also have a special little visitor, a special little guest coming with us too. <laughs> heading up into the mountains, up into the wilderness, or as Utahns call it, the mountains. You notice in Utah, they drop their tees. They do soft tees in Utah. So uh, when they say mountains, they, they, don't, they don't say mountains. They say mountains. So we're going up the mountains, guys. We're going up in the mountains. I felt like I had to like enunciate my tees when I said it first. I was like, we're going up in the mountains. But uh -huh. it doesn't feel natural to say mountains. Amanda grew up in a town called Layton. No. But all the locals pronounce it. Layton. It's not Layton. It's Layton. <laughs> and it's close to the mountains. <laughs> There's a lot of weird towns here in Utah. Maybe we'll show you guys. There's Tooele. That's Tewilla. not pronounced the, the way it's spelled. No, it's spelled Tule. But they pronounced it Tule. I don't even know how they got Tule out of that. I, I mean, I'm Humper. from Utah. Is spelled Hooper. I mean, there's there's so. Oh, and there's a town that's spelled Hurricane, but they pronounce it Hurricane. Hurricane. It's just drives me nuts. We're guys. we're all sorts of confused over here. Hurricane. Utah. <laughs> so hurricane. Rock you like a hurricane. All right, we're going to the mountains. I'll see you guys soon. Okay, we have arrived. Daniel Summit Lodge. This is an awesome place tucked in the mountains. Guess what, Miles? How what? cute. You're not gonna believe this. What? When I went to Walmart, what? I was buying treats for you and Jeff. Yeah. Guess how many candy bars I bought? I think I bought more than 10. And I bought all <laughs> different flavors. So that way you guys can choose which one you want. A hundred? No. A hundred candy bars? Oh my gosh. It's a cute place, Daniel Summit. We've arrived. You guys, we made it snowmobiling. We're out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> this is so fun. And Miles loves it. He's giggling the whole way. You guys want to see how to do a snowmobile kiss? Watch this. Ready? <laughs> That's it. That's it, guys. So romantic. We're snowmobiling with the family. We got Dr. T over here, Speedy McQueen. He goes so fast, it's out of freaking control. It's an idol, I just heard an idol. <laughs> he says he's an idol. But he's like, son right out there. He's son right out there. We got Jeff over there, Mr. Cool. He goes faster than Bob. In idol. In idol. And you got Sweet D. If she went any slower, it would be in reverse. Not <laughs> and we've got Miles. Go down. 
<laughs> okay, this is so cool. A snow what cabin. <laughs> a little log cabin. And they built it just around the trees. So all the trees are just natural. These are some of my favorite trees in the world, actually. So, yeah, these are called quaking aspens. And they're one of my favorite they're trees. Gorgeous. And the reason they're called quaking aspens is because the wind blows through when there's leaves. They're like, they sound like quaking. <laughs> are you building a snowman? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I had to get this. Ready? <laughs> oh no. Sweetie, watch out. <laughs> Direct ow, hit. Ow, ow. My mom got you. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Sweetie takes up with a lot Sweetie. from Chris. Do you guys want to go inside? Yeah, inside. Okay. There's a basement and everything. Oh, a basement? No. <laughs> I wonder how much this is going for. Five mil? Probably wondering how I knew this is here. This is where Amanda and I spent our honeymoon. <laughs> Do you want me to take you inside? Oh, you just want to fall down face face first. The cool thing about your helmet is it doesn't get your face cold. You can put your face in there. Hey, where's Miles? Where's Miles? There you are. There she goes on my snowmobile. I don't know where she's going. Back. She wanted to park closer to the house. Hey honey, I'm home. Hey honey, I'm home. Hey, honey, I'm home. I can bring home the bacon, <laughs> fry it up in the pan. I brought home some bacon. And never ever ever make you forget you're a man, cause I'm a woman. And there's our son, just burying his face in the snow. <laughs> what are you doing, Miles? Go. No, let's go see the teepee. No. Alright, you ready to go see a teepee now? Yes. Eating snow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want some snow. Alright, we're exploring to go see the teepee. Let's get to know so if we get stuck out here, we have somewhere to sleep. Here it is. If you ever have to go pee pee, you'd be sure to find a toilet. Thumbs up, cool. <laughs> That's one of the very first things that Miles, Amanda taught Miles when he was little. She taught him how to do thumbs up before he even taught. So something's good, she's like, thumbs up. And he's been doing it ever since. It is hot. It's a perfect day. It's perfect. I think it's like 35 degrees. So it's not that cold. Sunny sky. <laughs> he's happy. So one of my favorite things about snowmobiling or just being in the mountains is how quiet it is, except for the wind. And if you listen, it's just this like low hum, this and it's so soothing. It's so soothing, especially when you just need to get out, you need to detox a little bit, breathe a little bit. This is, this is the place. Even if you can't go snowmobiling, just to get outside and like hear nothing does wonders for yourself. It's called a baklava. It covers your head. Now, it's not for COVID, so it doesn't really go over your nose. I mean, that that would be... I guess you could. I mean, it's not made for that. It goes like that. But don't worry. There's no one around. No, we're out here in the middle. No one's around. Mountain. But I think it looks kind of good. Uh, I'm worried if I make it... Do I make it look too good? Mm -hmm, especially with those little tufts of hair. Do I have a little there. tuft? A little tuft of hair. But don't worry, uh, you guys. There's, guy. there's no one here. So if you're worried that our nose isn't covered or our mouth's not covered, alone. All right, we are getting helmets back on, sitting back up, so we're going to keep exploring. There's roads that take you to different play areas, and um, I think there's a frozen lake. I think it's called Big Lake. Look how cute Miles is. Cute little helmet. I can't even stand it. You ready? Daredevil. He loves snowmobiling because he's doing it forever and he's taking the big hills. <laughs> that was too easy. 
Okay, Chris now has to do it. My dad did it. <laughs> Not with Miles though. Goodness no. Miles is gonna wait and watch. You make it look easy. There's my dad. I think Chris is not coming down the hill. Did you do it, babe? I don't think so. Maybe in a previous life, but now I'm a mother. <laughs> I have to make it home to my baby. Hey, you can do it. Let's do it <laughs> my together. Baby Miles. Uh oh. Trouble? Having any trouble? <laughs> do you want me to do it? <laughs> I'll do it for you. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Is it gonna flood? <laughs> he got the snowball to work. <laughs> but the thanks of my dad. And here he goes. The trick about the hills, you just can't check it out. There he is. Speed demon. So Amanda informed me when I was talking about this, I said baklava. Baklava is a Greek dessert that's delicious. It's called balakava. Bal how do you pronounce that again? <laughs> Bowl of hot lava. Well, lava. I don't know how to pronounce it. Balaclava. I don't know. It's not baklava. So don't, I'm sorry. So pretty. We reached the very, very, very top of the mountain. Daniel's summit. Who's Daniel? I'm on a snow crust. It's barely holding my weight. If I jump, I'll, go, I'll sink down. Ready? <laughs> Not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> there it goes. I wanted you to just go straight all the way down. That happens. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's stuck. <laughs> mentioned briefly earlier that we have a special guest today <laughs> and Chris is just picking up our special guest so hang tight you will be able to meet our special guest soon and it's a cute guest I'll tell you that much so cute here comes our special guest <laughs> just wait Cabo! Hi, Cabo! Hi! 
So Cabo has FOMO. She doesn't like to be left out. She, so we got her a little puppy carrier so she didn't have to be alone for very long. We did our big trek without her. We didn't want her to get too cold. So this is a pet carrier. Yeah, it's pet carrier. designed for dogs. And this section is where they can stick and their head out. It's like a little leash that attaches so she can't jump she out. She can't jump out. That She's attached to a leash and then she's got her little sweater on. <laughs> Hi puppy. She just has to do everything with us. Hey you guys. Well, it's the next morning. We had breakfast. Here's mom. Hello, hello. And Cabo. And oh. And Miles. And Miles are walking up here. We had a really good time. Come here, Miles. You want to say hi to everybody? Hi. <laughs> Maybe you heard him. So. Hey, Miles has loved it up here. Cabo has loved it up here. A good little way to get some fresh air and still stay safe. Hey everyone, if you like Provost Park Pass and you want to help support us, clicking that join button is one of the best and easiest ways to do so. Plus, you get a lot of extra perks by becoming a member, like loyalty badges and emojis, extra vlogs, videos, discounts on merchandise, and more. And for the first 100 people that sign up for the premium membership or higher, we are going to be calling you personally to say thank you for joining and supporting our show. There's my family, there's my wife, there's our dog. <laughs> I can't even handle this. Oh, I can't even handle it. And there he goes.